So it's uh, May 5th. We're here at Mountain Gardens in a little bed next to the driveway. Various things growing in here. Some golden alexanders. There's a gooseberry. There's a little uh, wetland kind of planter with marsh marigold. Uh, low bush blueberry. But what we want to look at here is Apios Americana, the ground nut. Important wild food plant. This is one of the later plants to come up in the spring. So I said it's May 5th, and in a lot of parts of the garden it hasn't even come up yet. But in this spot, which is sort of facing south and sheltered, it's a little bit ahead. So it's a legume, and it's going to have a pinnate leaf, typical of legumes and little legume type flowers later on. It's a vine that can climb, oh gee, I don't know, at least 10 feet. It makes uh, beans, little beans for the seeds. Let's see if we can find some tubers. So there's what's under the ground. And the tubers are connected in strings They can get bigger than this. Uh, they like a wet, wetter place, but that's pretty good size for what I usually find in this garden. But in certain, as I say, wetland situations, they can get considerably bigger. And then, so this is Apios Americana, fairly common. Uh, we also grow this endangered species called Apios Priciana. Apios Priciana does not make strings of tubers. It just makes one tuber, which gets bigger and bigger every year. This one is maybe 10 years old. And as you can see, again, it's just emerging. It's kind of beat up. I had to dig it up because it got, uh, got a bunch of perennial weeds around it. So the leaves are just now starting to unfurl. This makes a much stronger vine. Uh, the vine itself will be you know, the diameter of my thumb. And it can go more like 20, 25 feet with big, uh, bright pink flowers, clusters. Sort of a candy pink color. Whereas the uh, Americana, they're sort of a tannish orange color, the flowers. And these flowers are much showier. Apios Priciana. Apios Priciana is only found in about five locations in Kentucky. I don't remember if there's anything particularly unique about the habitat, but I haven't found any difficulty with growing it. This one makes uh, Apios Americana. We'll do another video uh, when the seeds are ripe, but Apios Americana is going to make rather small little beans, whereas Priciana is going to make big beans that look like Scarlet Runner beans or something like that with quite large seeds in them. So I just wanted you to see what these tubers look like. All right, we're at Mountain Gardens in the middle of August. I just wanted to show you this Apios Priciana in bloom. It's really a very showy plant uh, when it's in flower compared to the other one, the Apios Americana, which is much more common. This one is an endangered species. It's only known from a few locations in Kentucky. Uh, Apios Americana makes a string of underground tubers that get maybe as big as a ping pong ball, occasionally bigger than that. This one uh, just makes a single tuber, but it gets bigger from year to year. So this is a much, much stronger vine. Apios Americana is putting up multiple smaller vines. This is putting up one quite massive vine that comes up as thick as a pencil or even bigger than that as it gets older. It's just covered with blooms. We'll show you a picture later on when the 
bean pods are on there. The, the bean, the pods, the legumes are quite a bit larger than uh, for Apios americana. So this is a wonderful plant to grow and we hope to have a good supply of seeds uh, and eventually seedling plants of this rare and endangered plant. It's quite easy to grow from seed, but I've found uh, to promote germination, I frequently will do a hot water soak, pour a tiny bit of uh, almost boiling water over the seeds. I do that for a lot of legumes. Seems to encourage them to germinate a little more readily. Uh, when I've planted seed in the autumn, it's germinated very readily, but then it sometimes seems to go into a deeper dormancy. So direct sowing right off the bat might be a good uh, procedure with this one. And I'm not sure how tall the vine would get if I let it really stretch out. I have a feeling it could probably climb 20 or 30 feet. This is all kind of wound around here. It's only getting this high, but you can see it's just covered with flowers. Mm -hmm.